Uh, my name is Margarita Lopez Uribe. I am a graduate student at Cornell University in the Department of Entomology. I do research on native bees um, and I do um, research in a field called conservation genetics, uh, which uh, gets information from um, genetic variation uh, and it's applied to conservation of um, different species, so I especially work in native species. And I do research um, in the neotropics, so I do a lot of traveling to Latin America, where I am from. Um, and, well, it's very exciting because I get to be, you know, like in the jungle, in the Amazon, collecting these gorgeous um, bees. And, well, it's, it's very for me especially because of the importance of bees as pollinators. Well, so I did my um, undergraduate studies in Colombia and when I was um, in my second year I took an introductory class in entomology and actually went to the Amazon for the field work of the class. And it was pretty like random actually. I just was walking, uh, collecting bees, and I found collecting bugs. We were just collecting insects in general, and I found um, these huge green shiny orchid bee on the ground. And when I just, you know, when I saw that bee, I just fell in love with those creatures. And since then, I've been, you know, like doing research on that um, specific kind of. Um, I think science is uh, very important because uh, I think in general when you go to school you tend to memorize a lot of things. You're just like, you know, like listening and repeating what you listen to. But with science and when you start thinking about science, you start asking questions about, you know, like why things are this or that way uh, and you try to create a method or come up with a method to ask that question. So I think it's pretty important to, you know, like the develop, you know, different skills um, in kids. That's why I think it's very important. I am in a field that um, does a lot of basic research. So it's not pretty obvious what the, you know, like direct uh, use of what I'm doing is going to be for, but basically. Definitely, you know, like basic research is necessary for applied research. So, for example, in my case, um, you know, like I think I think the results of my research are going to be pretty important for uh, strategies to uh, conserve native bees uh, in North America and the neotropics too. Science is a very like broad concept, right? Like um, it is applied to many different fields, but I guess the, the main, the the broad uh, concept of science is is just um, it's like a, a methodology. It's a, like a scientific methodology to ask questions and very rigorously, you know, like answer those questions following you know, like, um, methods. Well, actually, it's just, I mean, the, one of the very interesting and different um, and unique things about working in science is actually that you get to do a lot of different things. It's not like to have a regular job where you go from, you know, like 9 to 5 and do the same thing every single day. Um, so, for example, going to the field and, you know, like finding the bees that I'm looking for, it's a very exciting moment. Or, for example, when I publish a paper, you know, and I get good reviews about that paper, it's very, very exciting. Or when you give a presentation and you do um, a good job, it's very exciting. Of course, you know, like I'm in the beginning of my career as a scientist, so I, I think, you know, like bigger moments will come, um, you know, like with time. But basically, you know, like you have a lot of, a lot of good moments, um, yeah, very frequently. Yes, I have been in some ways, of course, because I have to handle bees. Uh, but
but it has never been, you know, like that. Uh, and the bees that I work with are solitary, so they don't come, you know, like in big numbers and stuff like seeing you. Um, and I'm not allergic, so, you know, like uh -huh. people that are allergic, you know, they can have a really, really bad, <laughs> yeah, bad time um, if they get some just by one. So, no, it is, I mean, of course there are risks, you know, like there are snakes that are, you know, like poisonous scorpions, you know, like, but if you think about it, when you're walking in your city, you can be, you know, like, killed by a car, you know, like, there are, you know, like, there are risks everywhere you go, and, you know, like, on a regular uh, basis, you know, like, in any activity, there are risks, so I don't, I don't find it, you know, like, you know, like, dangerous, I think it is, Actually cool and I just love you know like the forest um, yeah I mean I basically that's like the most um, exciting part of my work I guess you know like go to the field and get to see the species that I'm working with. Well in general um, the Neotropics is very very uh, diverse for uh, not only for bees but you know, like for a lot of, you know, like most things are very diverse in the tropics, in the tropics. So I just came back from Peru, for example, and I, well, I was working with my bees, you know, like very cool bees. And it, but, you know, like the other cool thing was that I was working with monkeys, you know, like all the time because they were extremely abundant. So I was working and they were, you know, like curious, so they would like come down, you know, like the branches of the trees and would like check out what I was doing. So it's just like so cool to be like so close to nature, you know, and it's something that you don't get to experience if you're in a pretty like urban, you know, area. In my field, the most interesting experience. Um, before coming to Cornell, I went to Panama to work at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institution in Panama, and. I mean, it's, it's, it was great because I was working on this biological station that is uh, on an island in the middle of the uh, Panama Canal. And I don't know, it was very interesting to be there with all these, you know, like extremely famous scientists, you know, like everybody goes to do research there. Uh, I learned a lot just by talking, you know, like during lunch with the, the, all of these scientists. Um, so yeah, I think that's, you know, like a very interesting experience that I had the chance to have um, before starting my graduate um, studies here at Cornell. And well, I hope I get the chance to like go back and experience more like that. <laughs>